it's like just having the phone means that you have to do it. No, you don't. You don't have to do it. And if you have a boss that expects you to do it, then that should be part of your compensation or you should ask them like, hey, I'm going to just unplug from X to Z. Um, but if they expect you to do it, then that's just part of the job and you've accepted that when you took the job. This segment is brought to you by Eastside Weight Loss Clinic. Some patients like me can lose 20 to 30 pounds in a month or two. Schedule your free 15 minute consultation today at eastsideweightlossclinic.com. Nicole. Yes. I never text you after hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just occasionally. So uh, what would, if, if, if it was against the law for me to text you after hours, would you tell on me if I texted you after hours? Would you call the cops? Well, if I was getting the money, but if, you're, if the government's getting your like money, you, no. Would you try to put me in jail, you know? <laughs> Give it's me fine. Civil fine. Civil, civil fine. Oh, okay, civil penalty. Yeah, yeah. So in California, there's a new bill that would make it illegal for your boss to try to contact you outside of work hours, which I can see so many practical problems with this. What if there's like literally an emergency at work and they don't need that you can't come in the next day? They're mm -hmm. like, hey, office is closed. You got the day off. Yeah. Oh, can't tell you. So the building wait, burned wait, down. Okay. <laughs> Show up. <laughs> or hey, you know, there was a mass murderer in there, like, and he's waiting outside in the bushes. Don't come in. <laughs> you know, in your car. It's like, no. So you can't is, even text. It's no tech. No. So it's crazy. Uh, this is from the Washington Post. Tired of late messages from your boss? A new bill aims to make it illegal. A California lawmaker wants to make it illegal for your boss to regularly contact you after hours, unless it's an emergency. Okay. So the serial killer might qualify. Yeah. Or to address a work schedule issue. Okay. This answered my two big concerns, right? <laughs> if the bill become, maybe I should read the article before I just <laughs> spew things out of my mouth. Hey, um, it's a dem state. You don't know what's going to happen. The, that's true. If the bill becomes law, any employer that violates it could face a fine of at least $100 per offense. Quote, the villain here, if there had to be one, is not the bosses, but really the technology, said the Democratic lawmaker who's proposing it. Everybody has a smartphone, so they're available 24-7, and that has led a lot of people to feel they can never turn off. Our laws are not updated to reflect that reality. But the fine, <laughs> is, the fine is not the way to fix it. Now, I agree. Like, work culture has gotten insane. And... When you think back, I mean, I think that when we were truly out of the loop with email and, you know, landlines, most of, I mean, we were certainly too young to know what it was like to have a, you know, nine to five job, 40 hours a week and not have that constant email presence and phone presence right. and be able to truly unplug. Um, so I don't know what that would have been like, but I imagine it was probably pretty nice. <laughs> I imagine it was probably pretty nice to be able to say, okay, I'm done with work for the day. Maybe I had to stay late here or there or whatever, but I'm going to go home and I'm going to enjoy time with my family. I imagine that was a much more pleasant way to live. Although our jobs would be a lot harder without the internet. A hundred percent. Yeah. Well, this come, oh my gosh, don't even get me started oh on that. Gosh. Coming in and all the show prep that we'd have to do mm -hmm. like day of, you know, go down and get the newspaper. <laughs> I remember that, you know, back in the, Cut out. back when I was a, my, one of my very first reporting jobs in Lincoln, Nebraska, while I was still in college. In order to find out what sort of crime stories happened the day before, mm -hmm. we went to something called Cop Shop, where you actually went down to the police department. They had a whole stack of the cases of the police reports yeah. from the 24 hours prior. Go you'd go them. through them, and then you'd hand it to the, the spokesperson, and you'd say, I'm interested in getting some sound on this case. Mm -hmm. And then they'd come up there and answer questions on whatever cases the reporters handed them to. That's how we got our story. So I do remember that. But anyway. It, well, a little other note is I did get a taste of that because the first radio host that I work with actually did still use the newspaper mm -hmm. and cut out the articles and bring them in. And then I would have to kind of organize a little bit. Who was it? And then I'm not going to say. Who was it? It was David no, Bowles, wasn't it? No, no. First, like 20 years ago. Who was it? First. <laughs> you don't even <laughs> know him. Okay. Um, but he also, I would print out all of his emails cause he, he, it was like, you know, moving into that new technology was rough for him. So, um, I would print out all of his emails and then he would write the responses to listeners and then I would go and type the responses he wrote. Yeah. Well, um, that's rough. But it's funny because then once his radio career was over, he works at the Apple store. <laughs> <laughs> That is so random. Super random. Because usually when you don't know technology, you're never going to learn it. Nope. Even me, I rely on Daryl for so much of that stuff, how I don't get how things work, and he does a lot of our social videos. But the other day, 
I taught Daryl something on Instagram. Oh my god! He was trying to figure out how to put music on something, and it wasn't working for him. I taught him how to do it, and I was like, oh Maybe my yeah. god. Anyway, <laughs> so this is Bill out of California. It's ridiculous. This isn't the way to do it. I think that there does need to be changes in work culture, but that really comes down to who you decide to work for. Exactly. Are you going to work at a company that values your free time and, and doesn't require you to constantly be checking your phone? That's your responsibility. And this almost suggests that it's like you can't even, you know, it's like just having the phone means that you have to do it. No, you don't. You don't have to do it. And if you have a boss that expects you to do it, then that should be part of your compensation or you should ask them like, hey, I'm going to just unplug from X to Z. Um, but if they expect you to do it, then that's just part of the job and you've accepted that when you took the job. Like, you know, taking this job that, yeah, we're going to be working weird hours sometimes. Not nine to five. No. Not nine to five. And it's like here and there, and there's some flexibility. So part of that's on you. That's personal responsibility. Right. I do think it's going to require changes in both, right? Because these kids are being brought up on their phones in all extra hours, right? Yes. They're, when they're not in school, the parents are handing them technology mm -hmm. constantly. And so it's going to it's gonna require a societal shift somehow. And maybe someday we'll get there, but I don't see it coming anytime I mean, soon. I am pretty good at it. You know this. When I am off on vacation or whatever it is, I my phone is dead. That I'm is not true. taking pictures. I'm not doing anything. I'm just she living has an in the moment. Phone that doesn't stay charged because it doesn't it's go like black. IPhone, it doesn't go to sleep. It's like an iPhone eight or ten or something. What number <laughs> iPhone are we're we up on? To Fifteen now. Uh, whatever it that works. Is, <laughs> it's fine. It has barely no case. works. Both you anyway. and my and my mom. Both of you have phones that don't go to sleep. So they just drain their batteries all day. And it's I'm fine. like, they're I don't forcing need... you into the new phone. Look, if it's an emergency, someone can call my husband. That's how <laughs> I feel about that. If it's a work emergency, they'll call me. Or me. You. Or you. <laughs>